I'm back. Today we're gonna be talking about MT82 problems. I mean, MT82 problems. I got problems going on. Right now I'm going home. I'm about to wash my car. And uh, I got a few things I need to do to it. Painted my caliper yesterday white, but they don't fit well with the rain. So they pretty dirty right now. I'm about to go clean those up and see if I can get them clean. If not, I'm gonna be going back with another color, maybe black or silver. So that's be some of change. But today we're gonna talk about MT82 problems. And the problem I'm having is I'm losing third gear. Yeah, I know I need a clutch. I need to get my clutch put in, but it ain't gonna do me no good getting my clutch put in if I don't have a transmission that can even do what I needed to do. Right now I'm cruising in sixth gear, but uh, to get to sixth gear, I gotta go one, two, scrape the fourth, fifth, sixth. Cause if not, third gear, it grinds. It grinds so bad. Kinda annoying. Hold on, I'm about to show you. What the fuck? Yeah, third gear is pretty much gone. So uh, right now I'm on the market for MT82 used, new, rebuilt. I was looking at the Ben Caliper. I think that was a, I think that would do what name is, but I just can't justify spending the money for a transmission that don't come with a warranty. And I mean, I'm pretty sure he's built pretty good transmissions, and they say he's top of the line or whatever. I just can't justify spending. But $1,800, I think, for the stage one, or like three, four thousand for the stage two, three. That's a lot of money not to have a warranty. I mean, he may do good work, may never have a problem, but with my luck, I may just get the bad trans, you know? And I just don't wanna be arguing with a guy about a bad trans. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's never had no problems, but I, I have seen people say that they trans, it, uh, it exploded or whatever, it went bad. So, I'm not going that route. I've been talking to, uh, to Rob at the park, at the parts farm, and uh, he told me he had a rebuilt one out of a uh, 2011, 2011 to 14 model, and he wanted $1,500 for a rebuilt. So I guess that's not too bad. And I don't know what kind of warranty it come with. I didn't ask him that much. And he had a used one for a thousand, which maybe what I go with. I don't, I don't know. Got some that come out the 15 to 17 model. I want to say they 15 to 1900, so that's an option. And the 2018 to 20 model, which is an option, but I don't think I want to go with those because of the problems they had. So then I've been talking with a guy in Kennesaw, Georgia. Uh, he rebuilds them, he rebuilds them with the billet internals, whatever. I, I really didn't get into it, he just posted what he used. And he said he got parts in stock and it only take three days. So I may be going with him, it's 12. I think he charged 12 50 for a rebuild. And you get a two year, 24,000 mile warranty, which I can work with that because $1,200, take my trans out, take it to him. And I mean, I never heard of him. It'd be my first time actually seeing what he bought or whatever, but uh, I say it comes with a warranty. I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of stand up on it because I mean, even though it's a manual transmission and you know people drive crazy and all that, people do tell manual transmissions because they don't know how to drive. Which in my case, when I got the car, third gear would always lock out high RPM, so that was always a problem I always had, and it was it just finally just finally was left. It'll go in sometime, sometime it won't. So, but uh, twelve fifty. I take the trans to him, pick it up three days. I don't think that's too bad. And I can work with that, with the warranty or whatever. But uh, yeah, my MT82 is it's doing what it usually, usually does with anybody. I ain't the first person to have MT82 problems. So before that happened, I was just gonna stay NA. I was gonna stay NA. So now it looks like I'm on the market for MT82 and I'm on the market for a Paxton Supercharger or a VMP. Uh, I know they don't, that ain't the most power I can get out of it, but on a stock motor, 
I'm not trying to blow it out, blow it up, none of that. So I think I'll be fine with a Paxton. Then I'll go to Bill Motor later on down the line. Right now I need to work on getting the transmission and suspension and all that. Which I did do the h and R Super Sports uh, a couple nights ago, last night, whatever. And the, the ride is way firmer than uh, the iBot V Box Sport Lines. It's way firmer. And I like it a little better. There's a tad bit lower, not, not a lot. So, ever since I had the car, I really couldn't enjoy it and like do any pulls in it because the transit always needed a clutch and it third gear always locked out. So now it's time to enjoy the car and have some fun in it. Well, I'm not going to have too much fun. It's a track season until I get it pro charged and figure out whether I'm going to run a, uh, a drag pack or will I be just running on 20s. I haven't decided that far yet, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I got a, uh, I'm looking for an MT82, so if anybody selling an MT82 trans, and you know it's a good trans. Don't try to get over on me for some free money. I'm, I'm not that type of person. If you know it's a good trans, hit me up. Let me know. And uh, maybe we can work something out around the Georgia area. I will travel to like South Carolina, North Carolina. Three, four hour drive, maybe. Anything over that. Kind of overboard for a transmission. I can go get from Lyons, Georgia uh, for $1,000, I mean. Which I may just end up going to parts for them. But, I kind of want to get it rebuilt just for the sake of it that way I know I got new internals and everything that way I know the transmission is built with zero miles on it I ain't got to worry about yeah this transmission might have 45,000 or might have this much I, I actually know what I got so uh yep other than that regular MT, MT82 problems the shit boxes put me down it ain't put me down yet because it's still rolling. But third gear just ain't there. So, uh, can't do too many pulls. Ain't doing no racing, none of that. I haven't even raced this car yet, so. Can't. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this, man. I don't know. I got a lot of plans coming up for it. I like how, the, I like how low it is now. And the calibers, I may go to another color if they don't come clean. But down the line, I'll probably do airlift. That'd be some of the last thing I, last things I do. One of the last things I do, airlift. Uh, I know I want to go pro charge for the Paxson, supercharged Paxson. Well, by the end of the year, so that's another thing I'll be working on. So if anybody's selling a used Paxson, let me know. Maybe we can work something out. I'll meet you. You meet me, ship it, whatever. I really might just buy a new just to be on the safe side. Parts like that, it, it don't hurt to buy them used, but sometimes, you know, people just be money hungry and they'll just do anything to get some money. So, certain things I really don't like buying used, but I will. But other than that, that's it for this video. It ain't really a long video. I really ain't getting into much. I'm just talking about the MT82. Which everybody knows it has its problems, it has its up and downs. It's not the best transmission they ever had. I did get a deal on the T56 though. I did get a deal on one of those, but I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on that yet. Because that's a good bit of money also that I be throwing out. I think, I think I wanted like 3000 for the uh, MT80, not the MT82, the T56. The Splash Guard, I think that's the name of it. Uh, the Drive Shaft. Transmission brace, I think. I may, I could be leaving something out. I could be wrong. I think that's what it was, but it wasn't a bad deal. So that'd be something I may be looking into. But between now and February and March, I definitely be doing a trans so I can get this thing back running properly. And yeah, that's it. I'm I'm out. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if anybody know what MT82 is for sale, hit me up, let me know. I put my Instagram in the link, I put my Facebook in the link, I mean in the description. So just hit me up, let me know what you see. If you got one, let me know, we can check it out and we can go from there. But other than that, appreciate you for watching.